Yo, it's Xanadu, and I'm showing you guys how to loot Shoreline Resort the right way. I see so frequently people are looting resort completely wrong. This video will show you exactly what rooms you need to hit, what keys to buy. So let's get into it. The first thing I do once I spawn in is pop an SJ6 and a Trimadol. No matter where you spawn, popping these two stems will allow you to run to resort in one stamina bar. Your stamina bar will literally increase as you're running, so you should be able to beat everyone to All resort the before they even get there. All right, here. So I'm gonna be starting on East Wing, first floor, starting with Keywood Tape. So this right here is Keywood Tape. It's 110, has a handprint on the side of it. When you come in, you wanna look for a lead X and different med items spawning on that little rack. Inside here, there's a total of six spawns, three in here and three out here. I can spawn lead X and other med items. GPU tech spawn on the ground right here. You can find meds on down here and on here. Another med spawn right here, PC, gold chain can spawn on top of that box. Gold chain spawn, and you can loot the luggage. Then we hit 107. In here, you're checking for this on the shelf here, and you're checking on the desk. There's a LEDX spawn, also a graphics card deck spawn right there. There's a med crate, a med bag, a duffel bag, and loose loop can spawn on this desk. And we're gonna run all the way to the end. A quick little peek inside here. Different barter items such as these scissors and you could find keck tape and things like that. I always check for that. Going up these stairs, hit 227 on this washer and spawn a lead X. Then we hit 226. 226 and 222. Whatever key you buy, they access the same room. You're gonna close the door in 226. You can find a LEDX here. There's different med spawns, uh, more med spawns, food, things like that. Then my uh, my stims are wearing off right now. That's what the effect on the screen is. But there is a rare loot spawn right here, a rare loot spawn right here. You could find LEDX spawn on, on here. There's like a spawn on this dresser, a spawn on this bed. There is a spawn, a rare loot spawn inside this box. There's a GP right there. So you find a lot of Tetris and uh, tech items chilling right there. You have a toolbox, different weapon boxes that you can loot if you're into that. 223 weapon box if you're into that. 219. Uh, there's a spawn right here, a spawn right here, and a spawn on the table. Just rare loot, expensive items like that. 218. Red key card spawn right on that pile of blood. Then we're gonna dip. And so either 213 or 209, they both open the same thing. Let X spawn. There's a med spawn right here. Spawn right here on top and in the drawer. And I think there might be one on the ground, but Let X can spawn here. A bunch of different med items. Then you have a med bag, green box, weapon case. Then I like to go up the stairs, hit 310. And rare loot on this table, rare loot on this table, two duffel bags. I go and hit 313. Let X spawn right on top of this box. There is a med bag, and there's also some like weapons and other stuff in the other room that it's connected with, but I don't worry about that. In here, 321. Rare loot spawn on the ground, and then you can loot the pig. A dead scav. 327. Unlocked door. Go on the balcony. There is just rare. Not rare, but just like I don't know what this loot's technically called, but it's just loose loot. Like these, they're like 30, like 20 to 30k each. That'd be good money. Duffel bag and a med bag. And then 328. You want to check here for GPU, LED X. Go around this corner. Rare loot spawn on that table. Duffel bag, bunch of weapon parts, PC.
And if you want to, you can come across here, down the hall, 306. So you have a total of four PCs you can loot. Inside this drawer is a roller and gold chain spawn. You have a weapon box, jump on this generator, sugar, food, things like that, med crate. And there's a med spawn underneath this little magazine. It's also a red key card spawn. Then I hit 304, just hit that duffel bag, hit this dead scav, jump down, 203, jump in this room, duffel bag, dead scav, weapon box, and then hit 205. You wanna check inside of this drawer for a rare loot. Inside this drawer on the ground, you can find a lot of food, med bag, duffel bag, and then on the ground, on these boxes, you could find different meds, uh, stims, things like that. Weapon box, weapon box, weapon box. And at this point, you could either run across to West Wing, or what I like to do is go down these stairs and go to admin. Check that table. There's a duffel bag in there. Dead scav, you could loot. Green box, if you choose green box and now the stairs right here you want to go down let X spawn and there's sometimes Luke can spawn underneath this tray or on top but you can find O scopes let X GPUs other med items then we go up these stairs and we go to the left and inside here you find just loose loot things like that on these shelves Red key card spawn at that red mug on this on this little side table in the side table you can find like tetris open the side room where that t-plug is and right on here are gpu spawns there's a safe you can unlock one pc go inside the side room typically some type of loose loot chilling on this table loose loot all over the shelf Another PC. Another PC. Another PC. Another PC. Typically right here around the ground. A lot of those random barter loose loot items. Another PC. PC. Duffel bag. Open up this door. Go to the left duffel bag and a safe and then if you wish if you're on a scav or whatever there's drawers and more drawers there's things to loot in that room but it's not very high profit so i don't even check most of the time then we run over to the west wing a lot of food spawn on those tables there is a duffel bag and now we'll check the basement just for sake of the video but this would not be my pathing route but you can check for red key card loot can spawn on this little box here you have two green boxes a duffel bag another duffel bag over there a duffel bag here and a duffel bag in the locker room the reason i like looting duffel bags is because they have a high spawn pool of just loot that you can get. You can get pretty much almost any item in the game for the most part, and it's just kind of RNG. It's like a little gamble, so I find it very fun and entertaining. There's another sports bag on the couch, another sports bag on the couch in that room, and in this bathroom, there is another sports bag. Now going back upstairs, we're gonna hit second floor. Realistically, I actually run to third most of the time. And I go down to 301. So 301 is at the end. You wanna check on top of this little jug and then on the ground underneath the carpet, you can find Ledex chilling on there. Rare loot spawn on the balcony. And then right here and right here, you find GPUs, Ledex, a lot of meds spawn on the bed. You can find Ledex, GPUs, Tetris, just rare loot sitting right on each side of these tables on this chair. You have two PCs and a green weapon box. 
Leaping 301, we're going to run down the hall. We're going to jump over this hole. Around this corner is 311. Here, on this newspaper, you can find rare loot, defibrillators. On the ground here, you can find lead X, rare loot. There's a duffel bag. Jump across this little hole in this first room. There's going to be another duffel bag. Then, jump through the hole onto the second floor. We're going to hit 205. We hit 205. So, med spawn on the chair. Also, you can find like lead X, things like that. Med spawn, vodka, things like that. We'll spawn on this little side table. A tech spawn on the carpet right there. Med spawn here. You can find lead X, lead X spawn. That is a red key card spawn on that newspaper. And a med bag and a duffel bag. Now, after you hit that, you want to run down this hallway to the second floor. Jump over the barbed wire, hit 216. And this GPU spawn, Tetra spawn, Tech spawn. You can find moonshine on this table right here. Different various ammos can spawn on the side box. You find a lot of stems, siluas, meds that spawn here, here. Anywhere on these two tables, and you have a weapon box, a grenade box, and a grenade box. Then you hit 220. Med stems can spawn basically anywhere on this box. There's a green box in the far corner, rare loot spawn. You can also spawn right on this little side table. Weapon box, weapon box. And I hit 221. There's a big weapon box here. Money a lot of times spawns on that table. A lot of med items, stems, on either on top of here or on there. Red key card spawn on this blue barrel. A lot of food. Our sass spawn on the box there. Around this corner, if you wish, there is a med bag and a duffel bag. Uh, 227 duffel bag if you want up the stairs the third floor to the right in this room there is just a rare not rare but loose item spawn there is a med bag 326 lead spawn 325 med bag if you want 324 duffel bag And this is a safe if you have the safe key 321 and then there's a weapon box and a duffel bag go down to the first floor 104 this is a lead x spawn i'm gonna check for meds kind of just chilling on the dresser same on here And a lot of these rooms have like duffel bags and a bunch of hidden stuff like 109 will have two duffel bags one here one there so opening these doors you find pretty much a med bag a pc or something loot in almost every room and there's 112 and this is a blue key card spawn you can find food here and then two duffel bags my player right now is out of food and water but it's perfect timing because that is how you loot resort on shoreline hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a thumbs up enjoy subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys next time peace